Hello guys, welcome to Asian Petrol. The spring is right around the corner. So really wanted to go off-roading with this 2022 Sangyong Muso XRV. So we're going to drive it and also show you both interior and exterior designs. So let's go for a ride. Whoa! <laughs> Still frozen, a little bit icy, but Sangyong Musa has no problem crossing it. Ah. Right now we're driving in uh, too high in uh, normal mode and just start driving on unpaved road and uh, body on frame structure just feels right at home. Ooh. So let's continue driving and, and uh, get back to you. Feels pretty good. <laughs> so let's get the numbers out of the way before I forget. First of all, ground clearance 8.5 inches, approaching angle 25 degrees, and departure angle about 20 degrees. So I think we should be quite all right today. Bumpy, bumpy road. <laughs> A little bit muddy here, but this guy also comes with auto start and stop, so it can stay more efficient. And we also have a two high, four high, four low. So yes, we do have low range transfer case, but we do not have any manual differential lock, but we just have an electric one. So we're gonna also show you the electric differential working soon in the actions. So stay tuned guys. Yeah, still a little bit frozen here and there. Let's keep going. And under the hood, we have a 2.2 liter diesel, just a single engine choice for Sangyong Muso, which produces about 199 horsepower and 325 pound feet of torque. I mean, if it was a city driving, then I would probably notice the noise and vibration coming from the diesel, but it actually feels very nice in these woods um, and its peak torque starts at around 1600 rpm so it just pushes Sangyong Muso right from the bottom with good amount of torque so it feels very nice and engine is made it to a six speed automatic from icing you know icing is good for smooth shifting and it's just doing that exact very nice uh, smooth shifting here even in the uh, Muso XRV. But not really a big fan of the toggle switch located on the left side. Woohoo! Voila, we have uh, some more water. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. So, ooh. Foreclosure warning. So, let's see. Let's go easy. Whoa! <laughs> Still a little bit frozen. Oh, so. Looks like I'm uh, gonna have to get some momentum because uh, it's frozen over there. So let's see how we do it. Right now we're in uh, two-wheel mode. Come on, Musso, you can do it! <laughs> so, oh, that was uh, electric uh, differential working right there. Uh, right now it is frozen. Uh, so let me just come to full stop. <laughs> So, we're a little bit stuck, not, not even. Right now we're in uh, full high. Let's try one more time. Oh. So, still stuck. <laughs> so let's try in the full low. Uh, it's gonna need some time. Let's try a full low and if it does not work, uh, gonna have to back a little bit and use the momentum. Okay, voila. You hear that? We have a full low right now. Let's see if we can get out of this trouble. So yeah, even in full low, uh, it looks like we need some momentum. Come on, Musso. You can do it! Yes! <laughs> I feared uh, because it was totally ice. Uh, I feared we would uh, you know, back up too fast and crash the end. But Musa actually pushed itself out. So 
four wheel drive system. Yeah, very effective. Uh, let me just put the car back into too high. Woo, so that was like completely 100% ice, icy uh, hill. So, but we managed to get out safely. <laughs> so we have to be careful. It's still frozen here and there. So yeah, let's keep going. Okay, so uh, right now we have it in the two wheel drive. Um, it's still frozen, oh my gosh. So, and drift this, uh, <laughs> it's river drive, so in theory you can drift this uh, Sangyong Moose so. though. A little bit uphill. It sort of rained a little bit yesterday, so yeah. Okay, we have a little bit of muddy hill over here. Uh, right now it's in two-wheel drive. Uh, we're sort of stuck. Let's uh, put the car into uh, four high. Okay, four high engaged. Let's see. So in four high, even in four high, it manages. So it rains a little bit here in Korea. So let's let me just. Uh, stop standing still and see if this muso can get out of this uh, muddy hill. In full high. Oh. So in full high, it's a little bit uh, struggling. So let me just put the car into full low. You have to put it in uh, neutral to go into. So let's see. Come on, muso, you can do it. So it's struggling. <laughs> Finding grip here and there, so. <laughs> so, hold on. Let me just give it some more momentum. Here we go. Let's try uh, some dry grass. And okay, let's take the ESC off, see what happens. Okay, now we have uh, stability off. Let's see what it goes. It's just too muddy, I think. Okay. Okay, let me go last time. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, really muddy. So um, the Muso XRV was uh, trying hard to find the grid, but it did. And we have a uh, parking sensor is going crazy over here. But yeah, we managed to uh, climb up here. So a uh, little bit afraid. Uh, let's go down the hill. Uh, it's better than ice, but uh, it's quite icy. I mean... So, uh, 265, 60 by uh, 18 on front and back is, is doing a phenomenal job. Uh, it's off-road, all-terrain tire, and it's doing phenomenal. Great job. So we made it. <laughs> and if you guys are enjoying this, please like this video and subscribe so we can grow this channel together and have more fun. Okay, let's continue driving then. So we have some ice on the road. So let me just show you the electric difference working in action. Right now we have the car in too high. ESC off, so so slipping, slipping, and hooking. So there we have it. We have the electric differential working very nicely, slipping and <laughs> working. So just really wanted to demonstrate.
okay? So we have is some icy roads, so going to be a little bit careful down the road, okay? Okay, now let me just quickly show you the exterior design. By the way, the Sangyong Muso XRV starts around 25k US dollars direct conversion here in Korea and fully loaded like this one will cost you about 34k US dollars and this is actually a facelift model introduced last year here in Korea. So we have a new front fascia and really loving the uh, new fog lamp design and this is a uh, Khan, meaning uh, XRV, uh, long wheelbase model. So we have about 12 inches longer overall length and about four inches longer wheelbase. So, and before I forget, let me just quickly show you the uh, headlamp system working in action. That's DRL, headlamp, high beam, turn signal, fog lamp, and this is what horn sounds like. All right, guys? Oh, car wash. <laughs> and we also have a 360 camera looking like this, which is not only good in parking lot, but when you're actually off-roading like this, I can show the front, rear, left and right. You can also go 3D, um, also turn it around like a Audi system. So you can sort of uh, see what's ahead and you know, drive around it. So it's pretty nice. I mean, <laughs> I told you it's not only good for parking lots, uh, but also good for off-roading as well. Pretty nice. Okay, let's also try the heel descent control. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I think it's going too fast and you cannot even control the speed. So Sangyong, can we please uh, control the speed so uh, Musa wouldn't charge up too fast forward? <laughs> but it's nice to have, uh, you know, heel descent control. Still icy though. <laughs> wow. Okay, second row seats. You guys don't know I'm about 6'2". That was where I was sitting and there's plenty of leg room and headroom especially is very nice. Good room for my feet as well. And window comes down. Well, actually all the way, we also have a uh, heated seats. We also have uh, two events on the bottom. Really wish we had at least one USB charging port on the bottom. And we have a good armrest with two cup holders, but really wish we had a bit storage area behind the seat. But we actually have some storage area under the seat with some fixer flat kit and some tools. So that's pretty nice. And looking at the car from the rear, also says cons, meaning XLV, a long wheel based model. Turn signal, back up, and this is actually, uh, they also give you a footstep so you can get up here more easily. Uh, says uh, four by four. Uh, actually, muffler is located on the right bottom side. And uh, tailgate, look, <laughs> comes down quite nicely. Uh, I told you they give you a step, um, some tie downs here, there, uh, and uh, also good sized uh, bed. But I really wish we had a window up here for your dog and for better ventilations. These are actually all optional. They even give you an axe here. <laughs> okay, so when you're all down, you can just uh, put this guy up here like this and close everything. Sangyong Whistle also comes with many, many safety features, including safe exit assist. Let's say trying to get out of the car if there's a car approaching. And Sangyong Whistle will alert you with alarm and on the gauge cluster. So thank you, Whistle. When you're all done with off-road, you can just set the adaptive cruise control and set the lane keep assist which is very delicate system placing the car right on the center so you can just relax i mean it's, it's quite nice for a pickup and like i told this moose also comes with auto start and stop so it can stay more efficient just like right now yeah so you can relax and even when it starts back on it's not too bothersome so I really like this uh, 2.2 liter diesel.
powerful and quite efficient too. And Inter is a very nice place to be, especially for a pickup. We have 12.3 inch gauge cluster showing various information to the driver, you know, responding quite quickly too. And 9 inch infotainment screen to the right. We also have a wireless charging pad for your mobile phone, three stage heated and ventilation seats. Oh, also Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And our tester also came with the optional air cleaner right here. So. Yeah, it's a very nice place to be for a pickup. All right, guys, this has been a little off-road with the 2022 Ssangyong Muso XLV. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll be back with much, much more. So if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel, and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you, guys. See you soon. Stay healthy, and bye-bye.